Hello painted lovers, Jonathan here. Um, now I am painting and there is something to show. So if you want to stay with me, um, you will see something happen. I'm having a play, play date really with paint and with Annie Sloan chalk paint. And I'm, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play with going back to marble and marbling and a few other things that I might try and do to change this up and get lots of layers because marble's got layers and, it, and and I'm gonna do dark, dark green marble. So if you find that interesting, stay with me. I'm just documenting it as I go along anyway. I'll probably put it somewhere else in another account. But if you wanna stay with me, um, please do. You're not gonna see much of my face, I don't think. Um, you're just gonna see the board. The board of wood I have got here, It I've just prepped this. So this has got a coat of graphite on the board with uh, a light coat of wax just buffed off. If you're doing it light marble, you do the same thing. Anyone that's ever followed my other tutorial, I always use lacquer, uh, scrap lacquer, it plays havoc with water. You have to leave it to dry a long time. Just go wax, it's a repellent, it's kind of really cool. So first coat down. With, with white marble, you need to probably put two coats of white, old white or something like that. Uh, wax it down, then another coat uh, of paint. Um, hi, Jonathan from, hello, New York, I think. Um, yeah, so definitely um, put a coat of paint down and then paint it again, which I'm about to do now. So this has got one coat, graphite, because it's good coverage, then wax. And I've got some other colours to go on here. So I'm going to go back with my a bit more graphite back over the top of this. Like I said, you can paint straight over the wax, that's fine. Um, literally. I'm just gonna do a random sort of pattern. These brushes are straying loads of hairs because I'm really naughty, I've left them in water. Um, let me straighten that camera up a little bit. Hello everyone. So I'm actually painting, which is unusual. Right, I'm going to jump from the graphite to... I love this colour. Amsterdam green. So we're going to go for that sort of lovely onyxy type vibe for marble. can't see your comments so I'm really sorry. I'll read them afterwards. Or well, whilst I'm drying I'll have a little look at your comments. No rhyme or reason to this. I'm just being kind of a little bit haphazard with the way I'm doing it. I'm kind of working across the board in a wave as well. And if you look at my hand movement, I'm doing every what way. This is a really good way to blend. You'll 
you'll feel fit afterwards. It's just a case of layering different things. Marble has dots of different deep, deep layers. sort of interesting. Let me come around and have a quick look. See what comments we get. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's 30 of you watching. Oops, all of your comments. Uh, let's see. Nobody's asking anything. Uh, love watching you. Oh, thank you. Um, it won't look much at the minute. I'll take it. This is just the first layer. It's going to be some time before I finish it. I think, I mean, this is this is a colourway that I've done before, but I think I'm going to go really crazy. I'm going to seal this in, I think, uh, with another bit of wax. Shall I be really daring and put a little bit of duck egg in here? I think so. Um, let's have a little bit of duck egg. I don't know where. Maybe somewhere through the middle. It is a bit daring that, I know it is. <laughs> so you can see just how I'm just literally blending on the board. And I've kind of got these rivers going across. I'm going on a 45 degree angle because I just think that looks most natural for any sort of natural stone. Remember, I'm going for that sort of onyxy um, look about it. Try not to get too many, too many brush strokes in it, but at the minute it's fine. I can cope with that. She's looking rather nice. Lovely jubbly. Right, now I'm going to dry this off. Maybe a little bit more dark somewhere in here. Just can't resist to add a little bit more. That's that. Thirty one of you. Anybody asking me anything? Let's have a quick look. Um, let's see, Sue from South Louisiana, woohoo, that's lovely. Uh, nothing else, okay, I'm going to keep on going, I'm just going to grab some, a sanding block. I've got a sanding block, this has just had white paint on it, so it may come up a little bit white. Not going to worry about it too much. Just going to take any chunky bits off. Because obviously, uh, marble or granite is sheer. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back with 
with some wax just to seal that in before I do something that I've never done before. So let's wish me luck. The idea between the coats of wax is to preserve what you've got underneath and then layer, layer, layer. you've got that sort of marble like quality this could stay as is but you just can't, I just cannot resist to go further I mean that on a tabletop probably would look very much like some sort of onyx but I'm gonna keep on going because this is not for a project it's for me to learn I do this quite often this is just a, literally a board of MDF so I do this quite a lot just to learn. And part of my learning is taking you on that journey. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but I have got another idea that I think might work. I've got, I've got my Annie Sloan mix mat, which I'm gonna use as part of this. Oops, paint on there already. Which I'm gonna, Spritz down, I've got a water spray here. I'm gonna spritz down uh, over the wax and on the mat. I'm gonna use this as a tool to add some color. I don't know what will happen, never done it before. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up Provence because I think Provence might cool down all of the tones. And Provence is going onto the mat. Move everything out of the way. And the idea is the mat with plenty of water on it, it should bead up because it's, a, uh, again, another resist. The mat's designed to repel paint. And we're gonna use this as part of splodgy splodgy. I have no idea what's gonna happen with this, but put some paint on there. So, and more water, just a little bit of water, a misting of water, and it could be dreadful this, but I'm just going to give it a go, it's just going to go literally over the top of that, and we might have to move it around. interesting that's for sure so it's a little bit like frottage but obviously the mat kind of is repelling and can you see I'll come closer there we go it's kind of repelling the, the paint a little bit like so and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly jet this with a bit of heat So I'm going to dry some of it off. And then I'm going to spritz it again and I'm going to move it around with, um, with a paintbrush.
see what happens. Mm, maybe not. So I've decided to go a whole other way now. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna get it really wet again and I'm gonna do a bit of frottage over the top of that. See what happens. Certainly interesting, that's for sure. a bit of paint but hey ho you're all still with me aren't you so that wasn't meant to happen I've lost a bit of paint I'm gonna keep on going so how to fix right where's me um, where is my little oh there it is I think longer to dry with the wax. If in doubt, go back again. I'm gonna leave these bits because I really like them. See what happens. Might have to sand it again. I'm just gonna dry. Here we go, there's my boo-boo. Where's my boo-boo? There. We'll make it be a happy accident. You won't notice it in a bit. Right, it's because it's not dry. It's really not dry. You need to give it a bit more drying time in between. Uh, more wax. This is gonna create me more problems, no doubt, but who cares? It really comes to life when you hit the wax on it, actually. It's quite interesting how it changes. Wow, it's almost like um, a galaxy. Oh, lovely. 
Really nice. Provence is really good on there. Wow. I think... I think I'm going to do the same thing again. I think I'm going to go... I'm actually going to go over it with... Um, frottage, complete frottage over the top now. Clean some of this off, give it a good polish in. Let me just do that to the camera up there. Okay, and to you guys, look. Mmm, lovely. It's lovely. The beauty of it is you can just keep on layering, can't you? You can just keep on going. That's really lovely. Right, let me get some more paper. Excuse me. I have some packing paper here, which is kind of crumpled. So we're going to do the same again. I need to make a wash of um, paint. Spraying that down. I'm just going to grab a bowl. we're going to go duck egg this time. We will go duck egg, put a little bit of duck egg in a bowl. Bit of water in there, quite a lot of water. I'm just mixing the two together, water and duck egg. Again, it's a resist. I don't actually think the um, mix mat is probably for this. It's maybe for something else. I think it's all right, but I think it needs a bit more development time, that one. Maybe straight onto, it'll be better straight onto unwaxed paint, I think. again with the sort of grain of where I'm going, 45 degree angle. Alright, let's get some of this on the go again. This is just paper really, just scrunched up paper. So it's changed the whole vibe again. I'm going to spritz it down a little bit, just to take a little bit more off in certain areas.
So I'm just applying more water just to remove more pigment. It seems to be working really well. You can gauge it little bit by bit. Oh, that's really interesting. Sorry about the noise. That really softens it in. For me, I'm going to dry it again. I'll just come to say hello again. Uh, Oh, uh, that's very kind. Jonathan Touchett, it's always beautiful. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wax... Oops, I lost your comments. Whee. So, there was a fail in there, but that's what you do when you're learning, isn't it? You get fails. Right, so... I am going to... This will come to life with wax again. It really will come to life. It's still a bit wet, but I don't care. I'm just going to go with wax one more time. I might even stop here, I don't know, I just, you know, it's one of those things, playtime, you just don't know where to stop, do you? But what happens, the patina is beautiful. It's almost a little bit verdigris, actually. But it, I was going for, um, Oh, it's lovely. It's all the different layers of things going on, which I find really interesting. You know, each thing that you do that's a little bit different, it adds another layer of something. Oh, I love those colours. It looks like a tile. It's gone from something that looked like wood to a tile. Right, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm going to try and buff this in quite a bit. I want to put some vein on it now. Try and put some vein on it. It's going to be difficult because I've waxed it. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to bring this close to you before um, I change my mind. I don't know how... Ooh, can you see that? Ooh, lots of interesting things, look. It's hard to, oh, that's better, look. It's hard to show, isn't it, sort of. But it's like a galaxy. I hope you can see that. Right, all the way around. I am gonna try and put some veins on this. See what happens. Um, what have I got here? I've got a small brush. That can come out the way. Gee, is I'm making a mess today. Some white. We'll have some white, I think. Put that in with a duck egg, maybe. So we've got a white, sort of duck eggy colour. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, let's do... I'm just going to go straight over the top um, and 
I'm not really thinking about this too much. I'm just putting it on. This is for a bit more shadow. Um, a little bit of water. And this time I'm going to use a cloth. Just scrunched up. And that is just going to take the edge of it being sort of my squiggly line. It's going to blend it a little bit. Bit more water then I'm going to take my synthetic synthetic brush um, which should just help with a little bit of finesse flicking the paint round go back with the cloth oops flicking paint everywhere oopsie daisy and then we're just going to pump that into the background. What will happen is the wax will start taking on paint and then it should take the veins as we kind of create a bit of a layer over the, uh, the last coat of um, wax. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Adds just something, sort of a rivery sheen across it. Yeah. Again, pushing it in. Yeah, this is lovely. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, let's carry on with these veins. We'll add a bit more. I've got a really, really fine, fine sort of fine brush. I'm just going to add a bit more, and these are going to be more finer details. And I'm taking my hand really loosely. And I'm following where we've been, but I'm just kind of rolling the brush a little bit. And then I'm going to go quite heavy with this, I think. I'm not, I'm not doing this with any rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of applying it as I go along. And I'm kind of doing that action with the brush. This is a really fine rigger brush. I'm just kind of jerking the, the brush around and I'm really, really not making any sort of mental idea of where I'm going with this. Some of this I may soften I'm loving the speckles as well. I'm going to try and connect some of this. This is just going to be really, really heavy, I think. I'm just going to have fun. Some of this is going to be softened, a bit of spritzing, these bits may be softened, those, that definitely, okay. 
little bit of drying. Just a little bit of drying and I'm going to flick the brush over it all in one angle and then it should be nearly finished. Mmm, let's go for it. going to stay, some of it's going to go, that's going to go, just so it looks really irregular, that's going to go, some of those spots are going to go, I'm just going to erase what I don't like, don't like you, Is running out, but I'm really happy with that. So, layer after layer after layer, and you end up looking something like what could resemble some sort of I don't know, Italian tile from a floor in a palazzo, or I don't know, something like that. I'm really super happy with that. It's just, just absolutely stunning. So, dry wax and then we can have a look at it. I've kept you all very, a long time. Let's put another layer of wax on. This is where it comes to lie. I love it. I just think, wow, it's it, it's just layers and layers of stratas of stone. Um, just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. So you don't. It doesn't take an artist to achieve this. It's just, as you can tell, I'm just throwing paint at the board. So give it a go, just give it a go. It's it's one of my favourite things to do with chalk paint. Um, and you can end up with amazing, amazing results. Right, that is that. Lovely. Clean cloth. Give it a nice There we go, all done. Let me come up, see if anybody said anything nice. <laughs> uh gorgeous, what colours? What colours did you use? So I used Graphite, Anislam Graphite, Amsterdam Green, Provence, um, Furl, a bit of Duck Egg, and Duck Egg and Old White mixed for the veins. Um, let me show you in a more close up detailed way. Um, if I go, it's hard to get the, the light right in here. There you go. So, literally, it's got layers. I, I mean, I don't know if you can see that. And then the sheerness of it as well. 
Let's spin it around and see what it looks like that way. And if you go, go up to this top corner, the speckles and, whoops, wrong way. These speckles up here. It's just really, really beautiful. It could be a tile, but obviously it's just a piece of wood. Um, so there you go. That is um, my kind of to, uh, Italian floor, um, which would look awesome on top of any piece of furniture if you don't have the privilege of having such a lovely piece of stone. Anyway, you've seen it all now. You've seen me fail in the middle with the heat gun. That's fine, because that happens to the best of us. But you also see, saw how I fixed it. And again, it really made a happy accident out of it.